Well, back again, ready to go to the catacombs, but we have just a few things to do before we take off. Make sure that you've taken care of your Estes flask and coals with Andre and whatever ashes you have to give to her. We want to talk to Hawkwood up here. Let's just take a quick look at what I've got. And it's not too much. I'm just using pretty much regular stuff. Whatever. Um, I want to put the blood bite ring on. As there is some blood loss effect there. But let's talk to Hawkwood. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich a right We've heard all this. He yeah. so and they made him such as a get through this. <laughs> At the foot of Loth, it was nope. if <laughs> you haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. So here he'll give us the heavy gem if we it. haven't already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He doesn't need the, the stones. The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, Snuffing out the flame. Even well, we've already done pitching. all that as well. <laughs> and he pities the souls that worry about it. Well, um, gaining admission to the league. No, we Where already know that. I... <laughs> we need him to. You offed the Lord of go. Cinder, the Undead Legion. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. I pity the sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? <laughs> ah, I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. There's the Farron Ring. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. He's yep. <laughs> Alright, so that's what he has to say. And we'll... We need to reload this area. And then we can go take care of the rest of the stuff. And then get out of here, so... Go to the Firelink Shrine. Throwing knives. I like the big... Kirkries, or whatever they're... However you pronounce it. They're fun to use in PvP. They do quite a bit of damage. Alright, so, as you can see, Hawkwood is now gone. Aegon's still hanging out. We need to go outside. And see. What was left behind for us. These damn fog walls in this place. I don't know why it takes so long to load this back part of this world. Me through. There's the high wall. Now right around this edge is a dog waiting to jump us. He got a little damage on me that time. <laughs> Hawkwood shield. Pretty much just a little shield. And We'll go in here and talk to Aegon real quick and then take off with the catacombs. Yeah. Ah, I know you. Been some time since we met in person. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> I 
That's all he says. Dangerous. Let's head off to the Abyss Watchers. Listen to the uh, Stellar Jays scream outside at each other, but. Hood of Prayer. Prince Lothric's hood, huh? I suppose that's the two princes at the towards the end. They're kind of an awful duo. Isolith, huh? Well, just approach this back wall here where we killed the Abyss Watchers and it'll reveal the Catacombs of Carthus. And right down in. And we'll start encountering some pretty unfamiliar enemies in here. Though we've dealt with skeletons before. These are quite a bit more dangerous in their own way. For one thing, notice I didn't get any souls. That's because he's not done. There's a few of these to take note of. These skeletons that get back up. Just finish them off. Get your souls. Grab this Carthus Rogue. I switch over to the bow. Once again, you want to show up at these places with plenty of projectiles for your. I mean, unless you're using a different setup than me, which is most likely the <laughs> case. Man. He almost rolled off. I almost rolled off. That's the end of him. We're going to come down here and we'll aggro a couple skeletons. We want to look at the upper left platform up there. And see the skeleton archer getting up. See if he takes a shot. He sure did. Alright, so both of these skeletons have their perils, but I think the more difficult one is dead. And yeah, this one's going to give me more trouble. Yes. I kicked him right in the ass when, we, when he showed up. Alright. Really helps to get targeted on him. I'm trying to stand here and shoot against him with the... Uh, with just the aim this it's it's a pain it is hard to do one thing to take note of is that there's that ledge down there and we'll talk about that here after a bit but we're gonna head in here first here comes this guy now these skeletons without these heads or more size the ones carrying those big swords they are do that, that big wind-up spin, but they also, you'll see, eventually, I'm sure. They'll hold that big sword across their body, and their entire goal is to parry you with it. There's a few of them down here. I'll take care of this one. Bait him into it. There's the parry stance, so if you attack that, you're getting turned sideways and that thing shoved through you. But, as I'm not going to attack him until he decides to move on me, miss the backstab on him. Anyways, let's get down here to this next one. There he is, trying to parry. To it. We've got an item to pick up here. Nameless soldier. And that was nearly all my health for that. I don't know if that was really worth it. I'll grab the Titanite shard. Now I've aggroed him. I suppose I could run up these stairs past these skeletons, which are going to follow me now. See what kind of a headache I've begun. 
to have. Nothing to it. I mean, all completely on purpose. You know, to be honest, I was feeling like taking a drink right now. Maybe even another one. Well, anyways, there's that stuff cleared out. And let's go ahead and go around here. And we already grabbed that, so we will come inside. Watch the skeletons get up. I wish I could say this was going all the plan, but taking a lot more damage than I'd like to. Here's Anri. Let's talk to her a minute. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now, with twice the resolve. The donor. Hey, <laughs> oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? Oh, no. To my shame, I was snared by a trap, and we've become separated. I've not been able to... Right. Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant. He's probably searching for me. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prism stones to guide him, as always. Please send him my word. I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. We'll do what we can, but prism stones make me think PvP. Alright, so here's the crystal lizard. And let's pick our shield up and watch out for this skeleton shooting that garbage at us. Nothing. We'll take that blood moss clump. We'll look out on the stairs and notice that ember, which we don't want to forget. Alright. See you later, Henry, and up we go. Now again, this is back in the main room that you cross the bridge to get to. There's the way out to the bridge. I'm going to come up here and around to the left as I originally did. Now through a lot of this you really want to stay off the middle of the path. There's plenty of traps down through here that you just don't want to have to contend with. Take the soul of a nameless soldier and move on. Notice the shadow creature to the left. It's probably the most dangerous type of them. And why I had to put the blood bite ring on. This is another one of those double kill skeletons. So he's down, but he'll be back up. Alright, there's the points. And here is the Carthus Pyromancy Tome. Nice through an illusionary wall and right out here. Take care of... And now, as I was saying earlier, from the bridge up there, you can actually jump down here and move in different ways. I'm going to look to this shadow creature and then see if I can just go to come on out. There we go. 
If you want, you can. As soon as you shoot him, he'll start heading your way. If you run in here, it'll kind of drag him over against the wall. Just wait for a second, and he'll return to his position right over here. You can follow him in a little bit, precautiously, and keep this between you two, and then run around and attack him a lot easier than, you know, starting over here where he can see you, because he throws knives and jumps and everything else. Sharp gem. Let's go. Now, right through here one more time. We'll look. This is the big stairway, but we're not going to come to it this way. There's where you can jump back down to that secret entrance or secret wall, the illusionary wall landing. We've got six Estus flasks to last us not too far. Start drawing these guys to me and make them kind of come over here underneath me and just fall off. There they go. Alright, so a flip. Let's turn around and look up the stairs. We don't want to be in the way of that thing. Now, if you look in there, you can see right behind the wall. See that guy's hand right there? Watch. Now, we're going to run back in here. Uh, he'll probably... But he controls that, like, magically. Now, watch what happens here. It'll roll in. That's the end of it. But let's get back up the stairs really fast. Remember our ember. Go see what was in that ball real quick. There's a bonfire just beyond this. Undead bone shard. Now, right here in front of us, there's actually three skeletons. They're going to get up. Uh, the first one is one with a buckler. The one behind him is one with a big sword. And the one behind that throws these, like, purple... Whatever they are. It's the, uh, like, dark magic spell. Two of these get up. The one that casts the spell and the one with the buckler. There's another one with a spell. See him throwing that? Yeah. Anyways. Once he's done doing that... Now, a number of these like to break with those. All these little ones like this will break open after you, uh... Oh. And I'll tell you what, sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Anyways, come up here, you'll notice there's a trap right there. Alright, I'm going to step on it. There's the Karthus milk ring. And it does exactly what? Hmm. Boost decks and obscures rolling. It's quite a bit of boost. Three? Pretty good, but I prefer to be as natural as I can. So here's another trap. There he is. Should we firebomb him? 
knife him. Fireball. Oh, that trap is rough on him too, isn't it? Nope. Take one more drink. Go around this corner. Another skeleton right here. Well, I better fill up these two. can kick their shields open, but I'm not getting it done. At least it didn't against him. Oh, it's these bones I'm stepping on. I keep thinking something's coming alive on me. Well, neither one of those were kicks, but they both worked. Now, I'm going to come right over here and take care of a little bit of a nuisance. Which is this guy right here. He's just like the other one that controlled the other ball. And we're going to have one of those uh, skeletal balls in our way here in a minute. Skeletal balls. And there he is. Well, there wouldn't be a lot of weight to skeletal balls. I'm not sure the bone structure. Watch out for the uh, trap here. It goes like this. Down here, and there's another just hazard. You end up down there with giant rats and a bunch of poison and skeleton wheel things. and I don't know. So we'll watch the big ball spawn. There they go, all their yellow eyes. We'll grab a large titanite shard. There, it broke against the wall down there. And here's our bonfire. Nothing to it. Lost a few Estus flasks along the way, but ultimately we're all right. Thanks for watching, watching the video. I'll see you in another one.